Greetings, Zombie Slayers. Slippy Jim here bringing you some more Call of Duty World at War Custom Zombies. And we'll be playing a custom map today called Pirate Ship. And we'll be using the Zombie Realism mod this time as well. So we're going to go the timed gameplay, just for something different. Haven't done that yet. And we'll uh, turn on bosses, but we will go with the normal difficulty. You may have seen the very first Zombie Realism game I played where I did the higher difficulty level. Unfortunately, that does make the map go all dark, so it looks pretty bad on the video. Okay. Now we're going to be uh, playing a solo game here, and this is an older map. This is the very first version of this map. Uh, there is a version 2 out now as well. But you know what? Uh, the first version actually has some things I like a little bit better in it anyway, even though it might be a little bit glitchy in one or two areas. This map was uh, made by J. Ingardia, by the way, and I'll put the uh, download link in the description as always. So let's select our class here. And I've unlocked a few weapons and starting perks and stuff. Uh, you can see here, support, we've got the soldier with the Thompson, and engineer with the uh, trench gun, and then we've got the medic with the Type 100 as well. But we might go the soldier, uh, the soldier loadout this time. Now, the different classes have different abilities that you can unlock as you rank up. Support allows you to uh, unlock ammo regen, after a while, and also team ammo regen, which is pretty sweet. The soldier, uh, you can unlock speed, increased speed, increased health, and a berserk mode as well, which gives you increased the power in melee and stuff like that. The engineer uh, will allow you to rebuild barriers quicker, uh, repair things like perk machines quicker, increase um, and increase the repair speed, I should say. And also reduce the cost of barriers and blockers and um, reduce the cost of those for the team as well. And the medic allows faster health regen as well as team health regen. So they all have different abilities. Uh, it's not just about the weapons. Now with this uh, particular class we're using as well, I've also got a weapon upgrade uh, called Incendiary. Uh, rounds, as you can see, it lights the zombies on fire, and the fire does them uh, continuous damage as well. So that's pretty sweet. A little bit overpowered for the first few rounds, but never mind. And we're uh, starting off with jug, uh, double tap, and speed. So <laughs> it is pretty awesome already. And you can see the pirate ship up there. This is a very colourful map, and uh, pretty quirky. Kind of a uh, rough design, but uh, a little bit crude looking, but uh, it's a really fun map, this one. And just using the Walter P38 here initially. It's pretty powerful uh, in these early rounds. What I might do is uh, wait until we get our first few bosses spawn in, and then we might open up to the uh, main pirate ship area. And we'll hang out down here in the uh, starting room until that happens. And uh, you can see we're starting off here at rank 53, so we'll see how far we can rank up. And I'll pl probably play about uh, half an hour or so. And then uh, if we're not dead by that stage, uh, we'll probably kill ourselves in some fashion. Uh, this is a fairly smallish sort of map, as I said, and it is pretty easy. So we're not going to go like, uh, you know, we're not going to go hours on this map or anything like that. And I'm not too sure what the highest rank the commander rank is uh, on this. I'm assuming it's the same as the uh, multiplayer uh, rank in World of War. But uh, we'll soon find out. This is only the third uh, game that I've played on Zombie Realism. You can see I'm ranked up to you know, 53 already. So That'll slow down a fair bit though as we do get higher. We've got three bosses spawned in here. So let's head up here to the top. Yeah, I might just chuck some grenades down. Probably a bit too early with that. I haven't really spawned in yet. Never mind. And we'll open up this next area here. I'll just uh, maybe buy some beddies. I don't know how effective these will be on the bosses because even on normal difficulty, the bosses are pretty uh, pretty hard to kill. That's for sure. Unless you get lucky and get an insta-kill or, or a nuke or something like that. And uh, Obviously, this dude is a boss. And we've got another couple of bosses, so we've got three in total, I think, at the moment on the map. We'll just open up through here to the power as well. We'll turn on the power. Ha! 
Hopefully I can wear these guys down because they're taking a fair bit of damage. And uh, we'll head right up top here. I don't even have to really worry about the perk machines uh, using this zombie realism once you have all the starting perks already. Except for quick revive, obviously I don't need that in solo. But how good is it to have the Thompson with the round drum straight off in the uh, game? It's pretty awesome. So let's jump down here. This is like a shortcut back to the starting area. Uh, if you're wondering what that question mark with the arrows is on top of that, it looks kind of like a basketball backboard or something up top of that. I like walking the plank up there. What have we got here? Uh, double points. Sweet. If you're wondering what that question mark is, it doesn't actually do anything. When I first played this map, I thought that it might be like an artillery strike or something. But uh, it's nothing viable. That's for sure. I just have to be a little bit careful here. I think it's just meant to tell you where you jump down or something like that. Uh, I might actually chuck down an ammo box up here because this is a pretty good spot to camp. Although we might not be able to camp too much with the bosses because uh, they do kind of make you keep moving, which is a pretty good thing. It's almost like having George Romero in uh, Call of the Dead chasing you around. Or uh, that spaceman in uh, the moon map in Black Ops. Sweet. And we'll just kind of run this uh, this circuit of the map, I guess. Go up top and drop down again and stuff like that. At least in these early stages here. So we're only about five minutes into the game here. And uh, just today, uh, Mark Lamia, one of the bosses of Treyarch... Uh, he came out and said in an interview that uh, there's definitely going to be zombies in Black Ops 2. We all knew that there would be, but he said, uh, and this really made my made me uh, prick my ears up, uh, he said it would be the uh, biggest, most ambitious zombies yet. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, when you consider that they got, uh, got some voice actors in, like uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar and, uh, you know, some of those dudes in, uh, for the first Black Ops as a special zombies map in Call of the Dead. Uh, you can just imagine if they're going to go bigger and better than that. <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows uh, what, what they're going to surprise us with uh, in November. We'll just have to wait and see. And there's a lot of specula speculation flying around. I'm not going to get involved in that. Let's see what we can get out of the mystery box here. The old Type 100. Uh, all I can say is I'm really looking forward to it, uh, but it's still a long way off, and it, you don't want to get too excited, you know, at this point in time, because you're six months out. You know, it's kind of like getting, uh, it's kind of like getting excited for Christmas in June. You know, you don't want to jump the gun too early on, and a lot of people do seem to be doing that. And uh, you know, I can't understand the excitement, but guys, come on, settle down. It's just a game. What I really want is a beast weapon. Let's see if we can regen some ammo here. Actually, I've got a, I've got a max ammo somewhere back there anyway. Let's throw some of these sticky grenades as well. It's pretty cool having two different types of grenades to throw. We'll just jump down here again. You just have to be careful not to get blocked off coming back up here. But generally, the boss zombies are sprinters. So they'll usually be ahead of the pack and they won't be the ones that will block you off. Uh... That's my theory, anyway. So this is where Pack a Punch is down on that island, and uh, the last time I played the uh, version two of this map, um, Pack a Punch is still down there, but he pretty much got rid of the island altogether, if I remember correctly. So that's uh, pretty weird. Maybe it was a bit glitchy or something. I don't know, but uh, the island is uh, pretty awesome. You know, you can run trains down there and stuff like that next to Pack Punch if you want to. This is a little bit glitchy here. You can see that you can actually make the zombies run back around the other way if you just move back a little bit. So you can actually control the zombies so that they never come around if you wanted to exploit that. But, uh, of course, I don't, do, uh, I don't do glitches like that in my regular gameplay. Or at all, in fact, uh... I like to play legit. 
All right. Uh, let's chuck down another ammo box. Can never have too many, I guess. They just take forever to uh, regen your ammo. I probably should play as the... Uh, which class was it that regens the ammo? The uh, support class. I might try that out at some point. I think that had the LMG as the special weapon, so... Eventually I want to be able to unlock the MG or the or even the Browning, uh, preferably the MG in that class and that'd be awesome man. Starting zombies on round one with the MG and uh, and the uh, Magnum man, that would be beast. Let's go uh, let's go check out Pack Punch era. So it's kinda of like a desert island here. Down the gangplank. And there's a really long line of sight, obviously, where the zombies come down from the ship. There's no spawn areas for zombies down on this island either, so you don't have to worry about them coming from behind you. And that's one of the things that makes this map just so incredibly easy if you camp down here. You know, it's easy to camp here even with one player. Unless you have bosses turned on here in this zombie realism, obviously. Uh, the bosses make it... Uh, different altogether because you can't really camp here without running a train because the bosses just don't die uh, for a long long time so I have to be careful I don't get myself stuck here now we just use up the ammo here hopefully we'll be able to make it back to the ship and get some more ammo or another weapon or uh, failing that Maybe we can build up 5,000 points and pack a punch something here. Finally, we kill one of these dudes. I think I got a drop there. It's just a uh, an upgraded perk overkill. That's a new perk. Sweet. That means we can actually get a third weapon. It's pretty much the same as mule kick. So unfortunately, there's no uh, war weapons here on this island. Oh, I have to be careful I don't kill myself with that grenade. Uh, but you know what, I think I'm almost completely out of ammo here, but I think I can make up enough to uh, pack a punch. So I might pack a punch the Thompson. And uh, that does have the round drum, so... I don't know if the pack a punch version will still sound... Somehow I suspect that it won't, but we'll pack a punch it anyway and see what happens. Once we get enough points. So pretty much out of ammo with everything here except for uh, except for my grenades and I've got a couple of bouncing Bettys as well but that should be enough for us to get the uh, 5,000 points anyway. I'll stick a couple of these down. And uh, then we'll We'll pack a punch. It's a little bit like running the uh, no man's land uh, area down here and trying to get enough points to pack a punch. This map does usually have dog rounds, by the way, as well, because it's a Darice style map. Yeah, we don't have the round drum anymore, but that's all right. At least we've got something we can shoot. We've got another drop back there. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, but with the time gameplay, obviously we're not going to have dog rounds with the zombie realism mod on. So we're not going to have the uh, reliable max ammo happening every few rounds, but that's all good. Damn, I need to kill more freak bags first. I just built up some points here and then I'll hit the box, see what we can get out of it. Oh, the pants are shrugged. I have to be careful not to kill myself with this thing. It's a pretty beast weapon. I wonder how effective it will be on uh, the boss zombies. Uh, so I've got three weapons now with the overkill perk that I've got. Ooh, I have to be very careful here. I'll just squeeze through. Beautiful. And I really need another weapon as well. I might head up top, up top here and try and use this Panda Shrek a little bit. And I've got some ammo boxes up here as well, so maybe we'll be able to regen some ammo. 
I should pack punch this thing. It's pretty awesome pack a punch. It's like fully automatic. Longinus. 